Investigators are working with DTE to find out how gas leaked inside a motorcycle club, causing a blast. DTE says gas was shut off before this disaster, but the club says the gas was running and it was current with its bill. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel tells us about the explosion last night. It destroyed cherished items at the Street Royalty Club on the west side. Well, this explosion here on the west side, you can see it's left nothing left but debris as well as a group, a family of motorcycle riders without a home away from home. This is what the Street Royalty Motorcycle Club looked like yesterday and today. A gas leak explosion before midnight Tuesday leveled the social spot, sending debris in practically every direction onto the sidewalk and on top of cars for sale next door. Fire crews initially put out the flames but returned not once but twice to cut down more. Arson investigators and DTE Energy looking for answers while a family of bikers do the same. How do you think this happened? Um, I don't know. The neighbor, you know, the neighbor said that, uh, that they had been out here working on the gas. Um, we don't have problems with anybody. We don't, you know, we, I don't think that it's anything negative, you know, anything bad that happens. Neighbors say the club, one of nine chapters nationwide, was a beacon in the community, holding fundraisers and inviting anyone in. The motorcycle clubs are the largest um, organizations that do fundraisers, you know, so people don't understand that. We, don't, we, we do come with a bad, <laughs> bad rep, but... Yeah, it's not it's not sons of anarchy out here. Loss in the explosion, items beyond replacement from the club's eight year history. Three at this location. We've had um, members that have passed away from accidents and you know cancer and stuff like that. We had a lot of personal items that belong to them. That's important. It's a lot of collection, <laughs> a lot of history. So it's gone. And the club is hoping to rebuild, but they are working with the owner to see if that's even possible. Reporting from Detroit's West Side, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Republicans